And now, the Murray Hall Companion presents Tales from the Choir Loft. It's the never-ending saga of the hidden passion emanating from the rafters of churches far and wide. Real people, real stories. Mildred, I, I wonder if I might speak to you for a moment. Well, I don't know. I, I, I promise not to take too much of your time. I, I know you have a backlog of episodes of Judge Judy you like to watch on windy evenings, and this is very important to me. Well, I suppose. What's on your mind? Well, I, I just feel that well, it's, it's uncomfortable for me to say, but I, I feel that the magic is going out of our relationship, Mildred. What relationship, Raymond? Well. I know it's not a formal relationship, Mildred, but everybody in the choir knows that for some time there's been a, an understanding between us, that well, you're very special to me, Mildred. Well, that may have been true at one time, Raymond, uh, but I feel that, well, I just don't know quite how I feel now, Raymond. Well, what's changed, Mildred? My, my passion burns as brightly as it ever did. I, I still sit right behind you each Sunday in the choir loft just so I can be close enough to smell your hair, Mildred. Well, yes, I know that. I can hear you back there. I, I, sometimes, I, I sometimes drop my hymn book on the floor behind you just so I can lean over to pick it up and get a closer whiff of it. I, what, whatever shampoo you're using has a wonderful fragrance, Mildred. Well, yes, I know. I switched shampoos about a month ago to control my split ends, but... but but what, Mildred? Well, a few things just aren't the same between us, and and I just don't think they ever will be again. Well, what's wrong, Mildred? If I knew, I'd move mountains to fix them. I would. I think you know very well what's wrong. No, 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 I assure you, I don't, Mildred. Tell me so I can right my wrongs. Tell me, please. Well, to be quite honest, it has not escaped my notice that Whenever we have passing of the peace each Sunday, you make a beeline for Carolyn Edwards. No, I, I, no, I don't. You do, and while the rest of us are shaking hands and saying the peace of the Lord be with you, you're over there practically groping her. It's just a hug, Mildred, not a hugger. Oh, it's much more than a hug, Raymond. You're having the time of your life, and she looks like she's enjoying it too. It's always a soprano that causes the trouble. Oh. No, Mildred, I'd much rather have an alto. I, I mean, I'm so glad that you're an alto. Oh, sure you are. I, I can feel the electricity between you two. You may be singing, standing on the promises, but you're thinking, oh, for a thousand tongues. No, no, that's not true, Mildred. Oh, true. and that's not all, Raymond. I've noticed that other things have changed, too. Well, what do you mean, Mildred? Well, I can remember a time when you couldn't wait to walk me to my car after choir practice each week, and that just seems to have gone away. Well, I, I know, but it used to be pitch black out there because the parking lot streetlight was broken, but when the trustees finally approved the money to fix it, I, I figured you were... Well, you just figured I could walk out to the car by myself? That's what you figured? Oh, face it, Raymond. Things have changed. But the problem isn't me. The problem is you. No. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have five episodes of Judge Judy waiting. And that's another Tales from the Choir. <laughs> Stories of a passion the rafters of the nation's churches. The names have been changed to protect the identities of those nearest and dearest to us.